they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. Can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. What's up, y'all? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest. Bella G's. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're going to start off with a little game to warm up. I'm going to ask you a question. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah. All right. Um, what's your favorite word to use? Fuck shit, bitch. Oh, wait, I said that word. <laughs> bitch. I say bitch a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, what rapper would you not let date your daughter if you had one? All of them. My daughter cannot date no rappers. No rappers. She can't be like me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Best thing about New York City? Um, the food, I feel like. Okay. Um, three words to describe you? Um, funny, crazy, and generous. What's your favorite color? Pink. Last person you text? My boyfriend. <laughs> Favorite song of all time? Um, all time? I don't know. But I like, I love Cardi B's song, Little Bitch, You Can't Fuck With Me, if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> um, Strand on the Island, what, you can only bring three things. What are you bringing? My hookah, definitely. <laughs> That's number one. Like, fuck everything else. My hookah, um, some lip gloss, and my phone. Okay, no people. Just no. People. <laughs> <laughs> just nah, my nigga. Nah, <laughs> oh, yeah, my nigga. <laughs> nah, look at the gloss in the phone. That's it. All right, right. Cool. I'm Gucci. <laughs> okay. Um, one word you couldn't spell as a child. Wednesday. That shit used to get me mad tight. <laughs> I used to feel like, I don't know the the N and the D like. <laughs> and I'm um, last one. Who's the best power couple? Me and my daddy G. <laughs> Okay, so um, growing up, I mm -hmm. guess, um, where you grew up at? Harlem. On the east side of Harlem and west side of Harlem. I'm from um, St. Nicholas Projects on the west side and Carver Projects on the east side. Okay, so you was all through Harlem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this side, that side. Right. All right, so how was it growing up? Um, it was cool, cool. Like, it was kind of crazy. I used to be in a park, like this park called Black Park every day in Carver Projects. I used to just be outside. Okay. Yeah, so with my friends. <laughs> okay, you got siblings? Yeah, I got a sister and a brother. Okay, so they older or younger? Younger than me. Younger than you. Okay, so it wasn't mm -hmm. outside yet. So it was you outside. So when did, I guess, the music start for you? Um, I was always writing, like, growing up, like, when I was in, like, elementary school. But seriously, like, I would say, like, last year I started taking it serious. But I've been rapping for a minute now. Probably, last like, three, year? five years. You feel like last year I was taking it serious? Like, last year I started, like, really, like, doing my music videos. Like, last yeah. year I dropped, like, ten music videos. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you definitely did. So, what's your like background, nationality? I'm Puerto Rican, Colombian, and African American. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, cause everybody was saying yeah. I'm white. Like I'm not white yeah. nowhere. Like <laughs> I really know if I'm gonna say all that, but yeah, people was like you were saying yeah. the N word. Yeah, yeah, they always saying that what's on Twitter. Your I don't know. I, I feel like they say that cause like I'm light skin. I don't know what it is, but yeah. But yeah, you black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty <and> mixed. <laughs> all right. So um, so when did you say? I guess when was when did you start liking music? Wanting to pursue rapping. Um, like I said, like I always loved music. Like since I was in like elementary school, I always like when Nicki Minaj came out. That's when I was like, I want to be like Nicki Minaj. Like I've cut my bangs like her. I had the oh, yeah, Barbie fake chain. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was in love with Nicki. So walk us through your first studio session. Like first time going to the studio, what was that like? Um. It was. How did I end up going to my first? Oh, I went to Plug Studios in the Bronx. Um. It was because. Um, how did you I, live in the Bronx? And I used to live in the Bronx too, that's oh, why. Okay. Yeah. Everywhere. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I was all over. But um I went to Plug Studios, but I heard like that was a lit studio, like like at the time that I started. Like they would send me like Plug Studios, like A Boogie went there, Cardi B went there. So I was like, let me go to Plug Studios. So I went there and I just I wrote my first song. I had did a snippet on Instagram. That was the first song I put out there. It was called Paid in Full. And that show went crazy on Instagram. So I was like, let me go record this. So record and it did it. good. I put it on SoundCloud and it had like fifty K um views on SoundCloud. But you never tried a music video? No, to that song, no. <laughs> so what was the first music video you did? My single, Savage. It's okay. called Savage, yeah. yeah I see that. So, like, so, okay, so that was the first song. And well, I had a drill. I really, it was a drill song called Pop Shit, but I deleted it. I don't count that as my first music video. And then I started doing Hot Girl Shit. So I, I feel like Savage was my first video. They say starting on Hot Girl Shit. What's Hot Girl Shit? Hot Girl Shit, like, <laughs> rapping about finessing these niggas, your <laughs> pussy, everything. <laughs> But you still be talking about ops and all no, that I'm saying shit too. no. I was doing hot girl then, shit like back then, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. So, um, so how do you feel like you grew in the music from then to now? I feel like now I really like 
I'm finding my sound more. Like I, I can't say I found my sound because my sound, like you go, you gonna always find a different sound. But I feel like now I'm getting to like I know how to make like better, like catchy, like like my gang said, why we sound that shit mad catchy? All the bitches on TikTok singing that shit. I got like mad people like redoing the sound on TikTok. Right. Before I used to just rap, but not thinking nothing catchy. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. So is that something you learned in time? Is that something you learned working with other people or? Um. Well, definitely being being around other big artists, like I see, like I also study like big artists and I take stuff from them too. So mm-hmm. I was just like studying shit, right. and I'm like real big on TikTok now. Like, so yeah, so I see like songs on TikTok go viral because it's catchy. Yeah, yeah. So um, so do you feel like you're a drill artist though? No, like right now I'm just doing drill because that's what like made me lit. Like when I was doing the hot girl shit, they was on the fucking with that. When I started doing drill, that's when my views and everything started like getting yeah. more. So right now I'm just doing it, but I'm I do other shit too. Like I'm just gradually like, you know? Gradually <laughs> yeah. So what can we expect in the near future? Um I'm definitely gonna be like not I feel like in the near future I'm, I'm always gonna like do hard music like yeah all that ratchet shit but I'm gonna be like I'm trying to like see bigger than the drill bigger than New York like I just want to yeah. be like my music played everywhere doing shows everywhere UK everywhere like just different I just want to be bigger than all this drama and all this shit that be going on say, I'm gonna be bigger <laughs> yeah so I was say so how do you deal with it all right now all the like New York politics and all that stuff? Um, I really just don't pay no mind, especially me. Like I get like picked on on Instagram a lot. Like, and I feel like it's because I'm the only person that don't really react to all the shit that people yeah. say about me. Like you be seeing, like, please don't like be going crazy on me. Yeah. And it's like for no reason. I don't know who that is, but they, they got something against me. But I just don't pay no mind. Like, <laughs> yeah. So when you drop Gangsta Barbie, everybody thought you was taking a shot at all the blogs. For real? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Wait, hold on. Let me say one more thing first. And please don't lack. I told them to take something down to me, and they dead told me to pay them $500. That's crazy. Like, they were trying to get money out of me. Oh, yes. Right. I was like, no. But, and please don't lack. Yeah, I was taking a shot at all the vlogs. Including us. Yes. <laughs> 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 I can tell you. I didn't. Okay, so it's it's like we was all in the group chat. Like, a lot of the blogs were in the group chat. And they were like, yo, Rilla took a shot at all of us. I was like, I don't think so. I thought she was just. Nah, it wasn't Word like, play, you like know? I, that's how I'm, I was going to get to that point. Um, Like, to be honestly speaking, I saw, like, I don't know what song I had dropped. What song was it? What was, was before Gangsta Garb? It was all yellow. You had a whole all yellow. It was like 2 tech, I think it was, yeah, or something tech, like that. Yeah. I think I had a job 2 tech, and then y'all had did the monthly shit. I don't know who run, like, the whole Instagram that y'all got or whatever, mm-hmm. but y'all had did the monthly shit when y'all be putting the views or the first yeah. week of shit, and I saw that y'all didn't put me on it, and then the nominee shit, I saw y'all didn't put me on that either, where all my views was more than the people that y'all put on the nominee shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, I'm not on the shit. So I thought that somebody in your page, I don't know if it was you who it was, I was like, they being funny, like, no. and I wasn't on the billboard either, so I'm like, that's weird. So, yeah, so I did that. <laughs> I'm like, how? Like, my views is more than the bitches that's old. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I, feel like we, I feel like we all been trying to, dis- like, you've been doing more artist stuff now mm-hmm. than ever. But before, it seemed like you was transitioning into the whole YouTube thing. Yeah, people say that, too. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, even labels, like, I have conversations with labels now. And it's like, that's what... Like, it, like pe- a lot of, no, they don't ask why, no, they like that I do YouTube. They saying, like, a lot of people, like, try to, like, say, oh, YouTube is bad, but that's why I'm, get, I've been, uh, for a whole year, I'm getting consistent views because, of, like, people YouTube. see my personality, they get a part of your life. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you just rapping, it's like, you, you're not really as, yeah, but we it. also kind of only seen you on the internet because you don't do, you wasn't doing interviews like that. Yeah. You know, like, besides video shoots and, you know, shows, yeah. but. It was hard to get up with you, so we didn't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but behind the scenes, there was a lot of shit going on, too. So it's like, but nah, yeah. I just I'm, I felt the type of way about that, but it's cool. We cool, you know. We here now. <laughs> we here now. Yeah, so, um, so in Gangsta Barbie, mm-hmm. another female artist got a song called Gangsta Barbie. Oh, yeah, Mine Mia Kanz, um, yeah. whatever her name is, yeah. I seen that, too. At first, I didn't even know that she had a Gangsta Barbie song. I wasn't in mm-hmm. tuned in with none of her music. Like, mm-hmm. And my Gangsta Barbie song was not even called Gangsta Barbie because mm-hmm. when Tata and um, Jen was on it, it was originally called Suck My Dick. But then I made it my own song, and like it was called Suck My Dick because, you know, Tata's song, they'd be like, I don't care if you're pretty, suck yeah. my dick, get out. And in my yeah. song, like at the end, I say suck my dick a lot in the song, and Tata, he was saying suck my dick. Okay. But then... I made it my own song, and everybody on TikTok, all the bitches were saying Gangsta Barbie, like Cardi and Nicki. So I said, that's better marketing if I put Gangsta Barbie. Yeah, but you do got a separate song with Tata and Jen. 
No, that's the same song. Oh, you yeah. Took them off? No, I didn't take them off. <laughs> she like, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? She like, what it went? I didn't take them off. It was like, um, right after we did the song, they had got signed to a label. Oh. So it was like label yeah, situations. Clear. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I just had to. All right, but Game Spark did good. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Almost like, had a million views right now. Mm-hmm. And on the remix, you got Shaji's and Yushi. Yeah. So how was that? I seen people wasn't really happy with that. Yeah, I feel like... Some we- people was. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, <laughs> people wasn't happy about it because, like, I was on the same team as K. Flock and Dougie. Yeah. And I was around them niggas. Like, you feel me? I was with Shimi, Moolah, T.G. Krippy, all of them, mostly than the other side, you feel me? Yeah. But it's like... Um, what I was getting to that? Oh, yeah, so I feel like, business. yeah, they felt a type of way because I guess, like, I don't know, people were saying they thought I was DOA and stuff like that. I'm not DOA. I was just around them because yeah. that was the people that was, like, on my team, feel me? Uh-huh. But, yeah, so I, that got nothing to do with me. Like, I'm a superstar. I'm not in none of the politics shit. Like, if I got beef for anybody, it's with girls. Okay. And these girls, like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so so you've been, like, ignoring all of that extra stuff. Yeah. yeah, and Dougie, I was just on the phone with Dougie the other day. Dougie was just talking to my mom the other day. Like the me and Dougie, we good. Like you and the artists are cool. It's really just the other stuff. Yeah. So, but um, all in all, how do you feel like? How do you feel like it was though? You did the track with both of them. Do you mm-hmm. you always do like this two guy thing? Yeah, you always do two two guys in the song. Right. So like, um, you did that with Mulan. You did that with T G. Well, no, it was T G. Caribbean show. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so but I like, always put like two people. Yeah. Yeah. So why is that? Why I put two people on the yeah. song? I don't know. Like at first, it was just gonna be me and Shaji's, but then it just, it just, I feel like it was, it was just better with two people on it. I don't know. I just like hearing different like sounds on one beat. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. it's like, all right, here's Vela, here's Shaji's, here's Yuji's, and Yuji's voice is like Batman. Like yeah. I, thought, I found that shit fire. So yeah. So you fuck with their music too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fuck with them. Shaji's doing his thing right now. Yeah, he's just, he's just he's going up right now. Yeah. Okay, so you say you don't feel like you're a drill rapper though. You definitely mm-hmm. want to do different stuff. Mm-hmm. When is gonna? When are we gonna see that change? Are you like done with drill music? No, nah. I don't know. I can't drill really drill project. Maybe I don't know. I can't. I don't like like saying stuff because like, I don't want to make it like a promise. And then they like, bitch, where's the drill project? Or bitch, where's it? Like you know what I'm saying? Like if yeah. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna just do it. Mm-hmm. But I feel like everything is like you're gonna know when it's time to do something. You get it? Mm-hmm. I'm like one of those people. So recently in the, um and when Jason Lee interviewed Remy Ma, she was like, "How drill music's overrated? Do you feel like it's overrated?" Um, I feel like, no, I feel like, I, I feel like everything gets overrated. Like when Megan and Sanya all of them out, they were saying how girl shit is overrated. Yeah. They always say that about everything. So it's just yeah. going to keep happening. I just feel like a lot of people now just come out of nowhere. Like, oh, people are getting signed off drill music. Oh, it's lit. Let me just start drill rapping. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel like. But that's up to them. Just yeah. me the best person win. I mean, <laughs> but it, I mean, it's a lot of people come from New York though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, everybody, yeah. but people's come out of nowhere. Like, yeah. see, me, I've been rapping. So yeah. it's like, you know what I'm saying? People just start rapping out of nowhere because they see, like, they feel like they could do it. So with all the new people coming out, do you feel like you want to, like, drop more? Like, what's the plans now? Do you um, have a plan or are you just still? Nah, I'm, uh, wait, though. Nah, I don't even want to say my plan because <laughs> bitches be, like, <laughs> they go be like, oh, that's what she's doing, babe. I'm going to do, like, you feel but me? But you got something in the yeah. works, basically. Okay, cool. So... So, um, so Lost Me, mm-hmm. that was the video of Boo Boo. Yo, that's crazy <laughs> because that song, no, like, people around me, they was like, bro, like, don't drop that because it was like a love song and people mm-hmm. was, people worry about, like, killing and drilling and shit. Yeah. But that shit, that was my best, like, doing song. Like, like I know Gangsta Body about to hit a million, but, like, if I, if you look at, like, the stats on all my songs, like, how much views it got in an hour, two hours, Lost Me did, like, the most. Mm-hmm. It did 200K in a day. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like... Yeah, so Lost Me, was that about somebody specific, or you just was talking your shit, or? Um, lost, no, yeah. It was about my ex. Oh. Yeah. So you put your new nigga in the video? Nah, he was, <laughs> Booba wasn't my nigga at that point. Song. Yeah. <laughs> like, that that uh, that video actually what made me and Booba, like, close. Like, that day of the just being each other all day, whatever, like, that's what started our relationship, I feel like. Okay. That Lost Me video. Yeah, I was going to say, so how did y'all get connected how did it all yeah it was like serious basically like he did one video with me and the video how went crazy i think it's like at a meal right now that was the first video he did with me mm-hmm. and then he just kept saying like he had flew out to la to go see curly do um videos with curly and he told me like oh when i come back like don't do youtube videos with no other person like me we gonna run this up together run the back up together so i'm like okay whatever right. so then we just started like doing mad videos together and shit like that and we just like fell in love naturally but the lost me video 
video, I feel like that's when we really like. I don't Marcos. know. It was like a connection. I don't so know. So it initially <laughs> started like as a business venture. Exactly. Okay. And it turned it turned real. But everybody was thinking it was fake. Okay. I mean, I feel like we couldn't tell when the transition was serious. Yeah. I'm, so I mean, maybe when the cuffing pictures started coming. Yeah. And <laughs> even then they were still because they like y'all never kiss, but we never kiss because of like Booba's religion. Like yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say, how is that like dating him and his religion and getting into all of that? Um, is it hard to adjust to? Uh, not really. Like, I be, me and him, we, he be teaching me, like, his religion. Like, we be praying together every day and shit. We do nice. all the five prayers. Yeah. That's what's up. So, yeah. you, was, you wasn't, so how is this relationship different from your other relationships? Um, I would say, like, Booba, Booba, like, pushes me more. You feel me? Like, and he actually, like, he want to see, like, I'm not going to say my other relationships didn't want to see me win, but, like, they wanted to, like, keep me, like, so they, like themselves. to themselves, yeah. They <laughs> yeah. didn't want to put me to the world because they knew, like, I'm a superstar. Like, like this bitch go out there. Like, she might. Like, I feel like all my other niggas, they was like really like insecure and stuff like that. Booba is more like, yeah, bitch, go over there. Like, go on the stage. Like, Booba supports me a lot. Like, yeah. in everything. So in Booba No Jumper interview, he said that y'all be making like content calendars together. Y'all yeah. schedule shit mm -hmm. and all that. So y'all really y'all still do that. Yeah, I started doing that for him because he was giving me anxiety. And I was like, <laughs> let me structure this nigga up because he, he's all over the place. Okay. And was it, like, was it bothering you do him doing the other videos with other people? No. Being that that's how y'all met? No, no, no. Wait, what do you mean? Videos, like, what, what? Like, just the pranks, I guess, kind of. But he only did your music video, though. He didn't really do nobody else's music. Yeah. But yeah, he ain't really do nah, nothing he ain't really, really do, other girls. Yeah. He just, like, would, he would do Joe shit. Like, he did one with Chinese Kitty. He would do shit yeah. with different people, but. Yeah, but she's on a blind date, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, so, so you be doing the prank where I'm going to leave you for another rapper. Yeah, everybody <laughs> always say that. Yeah. So, like, do you do that to satisfy the trolls, or you just, like, just for entertainment like this is entertainment yeah because he be no he be trolling me like he likes to say shit to me so i be like all right and i'm gonna leave you for another rapper like and they be saying that they be saying like oh Vella's gonna leave him but i'm not like rappers i'm done with the rappers like <laughs> been here done that and you don't the rappers because what it's too much drama it's too much I, I couldn't, I don't, like, I just feel like, it's not drama, they just too much. Like, I used to like rappers, because people used to say, oh, she like rappers because she a gold digger, da 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 Because I, like, I used to like, like, lit rappers. Like, I'm not dating no fucking underground. <laughs> <laughs> but they used to call me a gold digger and shit like that. But I just feel like, like, I, like, at that moment, I feel like I could relate to a rapper. Like, you feel yeah. me? Like, we both lifestyle. in the studio. Yeah, like, the you lifestyle. know what I'm saying? But now that I, when I'm at Booba, he doing YouTube, like, it's even better. Because y'all not, like, clashing. Like, we doing two different things. Like, this is my lane. That's your lane still over there. Is it like, because we recently did Kenzo interview. She was like, it's just some stuff she could, she wouldn't do but as far as pranks being that she's a rapper. Do you feel the same way? Um, yeah, my mom be getting on me about that one time, so she be like, uh-uh, like, that video is not going up, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so y'all show your, mom, your parents got stuff? Yeah, my mom, but my mom's so around, like, boo would be editing it sometimes, my mom be around, so my mom be like, but my mom be telling me, too, like, you an artist at the end of the day, like, yeah. you was a rapper before you was doing YouTube, so remember that all the time, like, don't just be doing whatever. <laughs> right, so, um, so your mom is supportive of the music? Mm-hmm, baby. She got a favorite song, do you know? I think she like Gangsta Barbie the most. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So being that you've been doing rap, tell me good. Yeah, we good. Oh. Being that you've been doing rap, you've been rapping. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of new girls coming up. Do you feel like you ever got your flowers? My flowers? Yeah. Like, uh, do you feel like you know what I'm saying? Like, was do you feel like people were? Supportive your whole career? Do you feel like they lacked at some points? I feel like sometimes people like like doubt me and shit like that, or like I get counted out. But it don't matter because at the end of the day, like this is like talking to my fans now. At the end of the day, like if people count you out, like like I always say, like people used to count Cardi B out. People used to the people that they count out, Ice Spice. They used to be like, oh, she just shaking her ass. They just like it because she pretty and look at her now. So right. it's like you know what I'm saying? Like you gonna win at the end of the day. Like you just gotta keep on putting the work. Don't let nobody like distract you or make you feel less of yourself. Who up there? <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is. But <laughs> somebody try to come get me. Like, <laughs> imagine. So um, so how do you stay motivated though to keep going? Um, I just keep positive people around me, people that's gonna like push me, and my fans just keep me motivated. Like every time I post, all the people that show me love, my views and stuff like that, I know I gotta keep going because I'm not like now, yeah. So for the young girls that's watching you and seeing your grind and stuff like that, what advice would you give to them? Um, 
Wait, you talking about like rap, with like girls on music or just in just general? Just girls that I look up to you. They might look up to you for YouTube. They might look um, up to you for Yeah, music. just anything in general, yeah. right? All right, so for the girls that look up to me, definitely stay in school. Make sure you finish school. Because I know there's a lot going on right now. And a lot of people is like, <laughs> the world is like corrupted. So make sure you stay in school. Um, listen to your parents. And just follow your dreams. Whatever it is you want to be, don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it because you can. People used to tell me that all the time. And look at me now. I'm lit. And I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yes. That's, that's what's up. So with the industry being like, do you feel like... Working in, in, well, being in the music industry, people are grimy. Do you feel like mm-hmm. you got a taste of that or you feel like you were separated from the craziness that comes with the industry? What, like in general, people are grimy, you saying? Yeah, like, you know, it'd be fucked up contracts and be fucked up deals and be, you know what nah, I mean? Yeah. Nah, yeah. I, nah. I feel like I never dealt with like something like that was grimy, like some crazy shit. Some crazy shit, no. But like, yeah, people are definitely grimy though. That's why you just got the, I feel like, you have to, like, be strong, and you got to know what's going on. You can't be, like, a bimbo to shit. Yeah. And being a, um, what, what did you say, what would you say is the hardest part about being a female doing music and YouTube now, too? Um, the hardest part? I feel like now, like, this year, or, like, the, like, the middle, whatever, like, right now, I feel like girls are really getting, like, their recognition, so I can't even, like... Say, but in the beginning, like, I used to get counted out, too, because, like, they was paying more attention to the guys. One thing about being a girl, though, is for, like, girls are always against each other. So that's yeah. the only thing that's annoying. Like, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was going to say, it's kind of like a divide that's happening right now. Yeah. When you and Kenzo, and then Murder Beast. Yeah. So, um, and Maya. So no, it's like me, Kenzo, you know, the new girl. The What's new her name? Maya, Maya v. v. And Wawa. And Wawa. So, you know, are Wawa? you cool with Wawa? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, and, and then, then it's like us four, and then it's like so, the <laughs> yeah. So what happened? Like, how did it start splitting? Um, I don't like me personally. My situations, it was you, like you was cool, with Shawnee. Yeah, oh, me and Shawnee okay. was cool. We was on the same team, but like we had our falling out, whatever. So we stopped fucking with each other, and then I got cool with Murder B through Booba's video. I, I don't know if y'all seen you seen that, but yeah, we did that. And we was cool. Like, I don't know what happened, but then somebody dissed me and Murder B comment under it, so I don't follow the bitch. And then, yeah, like, <laughs> I'm okay. like, what? So that's you weird. Read comments too. Yeah, because okay. if somebody dissed me, like, somebody, if somebody was to diss her, I'm not going to go and comment on it. Like, that's being a corny bitch. Like, how you follow me, but you commenting under a diss that got to do with me? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you being funny. So I followed that bitch. And then Mia, what's her name? Mia. Maya Kenzo, she dissing me because she think that I said something about her because I guess she be saying the top two, not two shit. Mm-hmm. But Kenzo, start, Kenzo started saying that first, top two, not yeah. two. And several people start saying yeah. the top two, not two. If you feel like, but she feel like I said it to her, then she feel like I said it to her. She can suck my dick too. I don't care about none of these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you cleared all that up. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody else beef, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. But I feel like everybody just be attacking Kenzo. Like, get off her dick, bro. Like, <laughs> I feel bad. Like, I'm like, bro. But, Ken- Kenzo, yeah. but Kenzo be with the shit. You saw she pulled up on bitches. Like. <laughs> yes, yeah. They, we, we already got into all of that. What you say, Kenzo? Yeah. But, um, which, what I was going to say. So do you feel like, though, it's something that y'all could talk out? Because it don't seem like it's that deep. So like, I feel like it's more like a, they just doing marketing schemes over there. That's why on the internet, like, I'm going to say it here because this is an interview. But on the internet, I don't go back and forth with bitches or that. Like, if I, when I see you, I see you. Yeah, like, on the internet, I don't really go back and forth with bitches. Like, even after this interview, bitch might go on the thing like, and try to say something like, bitch, suck my dick. At the end of the day, I feel like if I, when I see you, I see you. And that's it. And it's lit. Mm-hmm. We're going to fight. Bitches think somebody's scared to fight them. Like, bitch, who the fuck you think you are? I don't think none of y'all should fight. Yeah. I just put that out there. I think all every, from, from speaking to all of y'all, because we interviewed like all of y'all back to back. I just think that y'all all just gotta talk it out. I feel like the the fans be making something out of nothing. No, and they the do. People just be running with it. Yeah, but I would definitely. Nah, it's like me and Shawnee. We had our situations, but we had a whole show together. I don't know if you yeah. were there. The so talented shit. Like yeah. me and Shawnee yeah. was never on some shit. Like oh, bitch, when I see you was late. It, our beef was never like on some like on site whatever. Yeah, like I would be for just like I don't fuck with you. You don't fuck with me. Like that's what it is. Murder B. I don't know what the fuck. I've been somewhere with her glasses, just talking shit. And then <laughs> me and Kenzo, like she just sub throwing subs. She don't even know what the fuck she's talking about. She don't know what like. Bitch, I don't know. She's just trying to get some clout. I don't know what she's trying to do. But this shit's just crazy. Like, yeah, but I'm with whatever. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, <laughs> this shit crazy. So, um, but do you feel like it could, well, it could probably 
I feel and I feel like I feel like period like pe- like girls shouldn't be going against each other mm-hmm. for like petty shit like niggas is beefing over real shit like cause somebody killed their mans or some shit right. like you know they beefing over real shit yeah. girls are just beefing I feel like it's all like a competition thing low key like yeah. one thing I like that you do though you don't be like, mentioning nobody dead. Yeah, I don't do that. I yeah, don't no. do that. Like, and that's I nothing that's I don't like either. Far, like, yeah. when people, all that naughty bopping shit, like, I think that shit's like, I don't know, that shit's corny, bro. Especially if you're a girl naughty bopping, like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. So, um, so moving along, you was on FaceTime with NBA Youngboy. Yeah. <laughs> I was hyped because I'm like, yo, that's, that's my favorite rapper. For real? But I'm like, yo, if he was to get on the drill song, that would be some shit. Nah, I'd be fire. So you was trolling when you was like, oh, y'all want to see a feature? Nah. Like, yeah. <laughs> what I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> I need to address this too. So basically, like, um, he had, he don't have, he don't have Instagram. Like, he be on and off Instagram. He didn't have Instagram. So. Mm-hmm. Who had wrote me? Oh, it was the baby. The baby had wrote me, and he's like, oh, yo, what's your number? Like, whatever. So I gave him my number. I thought it was, like, some business shit. Like, maybe he wants to sign me or some shit. I don't know. He wants to talk. Okay. So I'm like, all right. So he FaceTimed me. The baby FaceTimed me, and I'm I'm like, yo, what's up, whatever. And he's like, yo, somebody want to talk to you. So I'm thinking he's the one that's about to talk to me. And then he probably be a young boy in the phone. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm mad confused. And then I'm like, what's up, whatever. And he's like, yo, I seen one of your videos where you had on a blue jacket. I think he's talking about my on-site song. I don't know. Yeah. Was it, that's what it's called? Yeah, whatever. So then I'm like, wait, what? And he's like, but the blue jacket, your music video fire, whatever the case may be. Your video was fire. And we were just talking regular. Like, we were just having regular conversation. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, shit like that. And then, yeah. We were just talking business shit, basically. Okay. You know, he got, like, his own label shit going yeah. on, shit like that. So we were just talking business, and then I took a screenshot, and I posted it, like, on some shit, like, do y'all want to see? Because at the end of the day, this is all, like, a marketing thing. You yeah. feel me? I put NBA Youngboy Times Vela, like, question mark, do y'all want to see that? Yeah. People thought that I had a song with him already. Yeah. So now everybody's like, oh, shit, then the manager come out of nowhere, don't even know what the fuck is going on, and it was just crazy. Yeah. The manager was like, oh, 300K. Yeah, for a feature, <laughs> or whatever the case may be. But then he deleted it. We cleared the whole shit up. Like, yeah. Okay, but you and him still cool? Yeah, we good. Oh, yeah. Nice. The baby yeah, facts. too? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you um are you gonna start traveling, working with other artists? Or? Yeah, definitely. That's something I wanna do. I'm I you see I collab with a lot of drill artists, yeah. like in New York City. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely wanna travel and collab with like different type of artists, yeah. Just so I could build different fan bases mm-hmm. outside of New York. Are you worried? How are you dealing with that? Like working with the guys in the music because you know they be shooting a shot, trying to flirt with you being in a relationship. Yeah, I never have that problem because I feel like Booba he cool with all of them too. So like yeah. Booba always be there. Like and yeah, they never try that shit with me. I'm like oh, gang. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna play a game called Overrated or Underrated. Overrated means like it's corny, it's played out. Underrated means like you want to see more of it. All right. Bro. So I'm gonna just say a category and you say if it's. Overrated or underrated? All right. So sample beats, overrated, underrated. Overrated. <laughs> you sick of sample beats? <laughs> no, you like I, I'm saying like oh, Over, oh overrated means you're tired of it. Yes. Oh, I'm like, tired of it. Yeah. I feel like overrated. I'm like it's because a lot of people's doing sample beats right now, but I love my sample beats. Okay. It's so, like overrated, but I don't give a fuck. I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, TikTok, overrated, underrated. Um, I feel like it's underrated with a lot of the drill artists. Like, a lot of drill artists don't understand that TikTok could really push your music. Like, you feel me? Like, TikTok, yeah, TikTok is where it's at. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, videos on 42nd Street. I started that, first of all. Um, Wait, what? <laughs> yes, because I, you remember my 42nd Street video with the, I had like an orange wig. It was called Takeover. I, I did okay, that your music video, yeah. Yeah, so I was in LA. That's something I'm, I was so mad about, too. I was in LA, and I decided, like, I want to do a lit music video with mad people because I have mad fans, like, from my YouTube. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. So I wrote, like, a TikToker that I know, like, he's, like, a geek star, like, them niggas that be dancing, doing all that crazy shit on mm-hmm. 42nd Street. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, like, I want to do my video on 42nd Street, and I want it to be crazy. Like, get me a flyer made, whatever, and help me, like, promote it, feel me? Because he knows mad dancers. Yeah. So I got my flyer made, posted it, like, two days before of the video shoot, like, like, mad fast. So, the nigga on TikTok, he made a video like, yo, Rella's going to be on 42nd Street. She's shooting her music video. That shit was packed out. Like, I don't know. Like, if you was there, 
the cops was chasing after everybody. Cars, windows got broken in the parking lot. They was jumping on it. That shit was crazy. Like, I got arrested that day. That shit was crazy. Why, I got banned. Why you got arrested? Yeah, I got banned from 42nd Street. Like, I don't know how I got banned from 42nd Street. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. Like, so what Kenny, they you arrested there? you for? Huh? I don't know. Oh, no, they arrested me. You not got everybody there? They, they didn't really arrest me, though. They took me in a car, though. Yeah. Like, they took me in a car first, and they me and my mom, and then Booba, they put him in a different car because everybody kept following me. So it's like, they said, like, they kept telling me, stop doing this music video, da 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 you cannot do this, you need a permit, whatever the case may be. And I'm like, bro, like, I need to get my other scenes out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like so I kept on doing it, and then they like, bro, and so then I'm like, all right, I'm done with this shit. I was getting mad because there was so many people, and they oh. was all on top of me. Like, yeah. can I get an autograph, da 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 So I'm like, bro, I can't even shoot my video. Yeah. So then the cops, like, was, like, looking for me. That's when everybody started running. All the cops came. They started breaking the cars. And I'm like, I'm going to get in trouble for all of this, bro. Like, yeah. I was so scared. And Booba they got sep- You and Booba lost each other during all this? Or? Yeah, we lost each other, but the fans was, like, protecting me. I don't know. There was, like, one boy. He's like, come on, come on, come on. He was, like, helping me right away. I'm over here trying to hide. Then the cop found me. He's like, they're just going to keep following you, and you're just going to keep making it worse. You're going to get in the car. And he took me in the car, and they drove me, like, and I had to wait for my security to come get me. That shit was crazy. But I started that, right? I started that that time, right? And then after that, that's when I see mad bitches start saying, oh, video shoot on 42nd Street, like, that shit. Like, yeah. I see bigger artists doing that too now, though. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm like a boogie did like walk through. Yeah, he did that. I, that's I what I'm saying. Truck. That's what I'm Russell saying. Russell Dusty did it too. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And if you check the dates, I did that shit first. And it, no, but literally, like after I did that, the next like four days, people was doing it already, and that shit got me tight. But you can't get tired of that because at least you, you know. Yeah. I'm trying to think of something new now. Bitches can't do like. <laughs> yeah. So how do you feel about all the like? Oh, wait, no, one more. Overrated, underrated, pranks. The pranks? Overrated, underrated. Um, Overrated is corny, right? Yeah. Overrated. Depending on the prank. Like, sometimes it's just like, all right. <laughs> okay. And then love nowadays. Love? Like, falling in love. Underrated. I feel like right nowadays, like, everybody just, like, like, niggas just worry about fucking mad bitches and stuff like that. And, like, girls is like, oh, fuck that, I don't need no nigga, la, la, la. Yeah, like, everybody just independent. independency right now. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, you can have some love. Like, calm down, damn. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to hug, bitch. <laughs> so, like, when did, I guess, you always seem to be tapped into your, like, feminine side, though. Yeah. Like, but did, did you ever, was you ever one of those people, like, I was on some independent shit, I'm going to get it on my own type of thing? Or, like, what, like, no relationship? Yeah, before. Yeah, yeah like, like, before I was cuff, yeah. Even, like, with my ex, I was still, like, on some independent shit. Like, I, I always been, like, very dominant. Like, you know, like, I always been, like, all right, yeah, like, you cool, but, like, I don't really need you type shit. But now, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But now, like, with Booba, like, I don't know, Booba made me more, like, soft and, like, loving and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So, um, hmm, I think that is everything. Okay, so... But in your in your music now though, because before you said you was talking the hot girl shit, now you're talking more ops and killing and all this. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, now I'm more with the gangster shit. That's how I started rapping though first. Okay, who are your ops? I have a lot of ops. <laughs> <laughs> she want to know the ops. She might. <laughs> nah, like, I have a lot of ops. I don't, it'd be like the internet people. You feel like or like no, it's bitches in real life. Like when oh. I see them, it's lit. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> and um, you don't seem to have a lot of like. Close like girlfriends. Um, I do, but they not like in the industry wise. So yeah, my friends like I have my own little girl like group, whatever. But I be too busy with my life like that. Sometimes I don't even have time for my nigga, my family, my my um friends so it just be like and i'm not like a girl like if i'm not making money like i'm i feel like i'm an artist now so like stuff that my friends is doing like if my friends go to the club i can't just be going to the club like y'all paying me like <laughs> you know what i'm yeah. saying then okay. i'm too accessible so i just right. be you know what i'm saying yeah so but when you was first first coming up probably like last year early last year you and princess sani was like super close yeah we not cool at all like <laughs> What was, happened? Like, what was the disconnect? It was a whole big thing. I don't want to talk about that bitch. Like, <laughs> yeah. All right. But, yeah, so, but you say you're keeping your friends, like, separate from music and business now, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Basically. Okay. All right. So, what should we look forward to before the year ends? 
Um, just look forward to more music, more visuals, and just yeah, I'm gonna be outside. I'm gonna be everywhere. I'm gonna be doing more interviews. Okay. You see, I was doing interviews before. I had too much shit going on. Now I'm more structured. You know, okay. my son over there, Bree G, she got me structured. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, yeah, so more organized, more interviews. <laughs> exactly, and just Are being we outside. Let me get a project. Yeah, I definitely want to do a project. I want to do an EP. Yeah, okay. I know you were saying maybe I should do a drill. I'm gonna figure it out what I should do. Yeah. But I don't know specifics, but definitely we want to see a project. Want right. to see a full body of work, maybe some features. Yeah, with definitely. All these rappers that we calling. Yeah, <laughs> definitely get one or two of them on there. And then, um, as far as the content though, though, mm-hmm. are you gonna keep? I know you're saying pranks are kind of overrated. I see people are doing like the smash or pass thing. Yeah. You know, but you can't really do that because you're going to be Yeah. <laughs> so, like, what, is, what does that leave content now? Um, I feel like like me and Booba still going to do our content. Like, I guess if he prank me, I can't control that. Or if I want to prank yeah. him, I'm going to prank him. So, the funniest one was the... The, the panty one? No, the guy saying that. What? You gotta leave the house. Oh, the leash? <laughs> Yo, I don't see if I'm like, who the fuck is this man in a suit? <laughs> Yo, I thought that was dumb. Like, that was a good like, one. Hey, what he be doing, bro? <laughs> but nah, that nah, was that shit was funny too. <laughs> I had to laugh. I'm like, bro, he had to cut out me laughing mad stuff because I'm like, bro, what is this nigga in a suit doing in a car like with the fucking paper? He had to lease his papers. Yes. I'm like, who is this man? Like, So, like, how was that, like, moving in with Booba and stuff? Nah, it's lit. Like, I feel like before we moved in together, like, we was, like, arguing more. And, like, I don't know. I thought we was going to argue more moving in. So, we was kind of mm. skeptical. Like, bro, we mm. might kill each other in the house. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but, nah, we be good. We got, like, a two-bedroom. So, like, if I ever, like, I just go to the content room. Like, you know, we just... Have like content room, fire. yeah. I got like content room, but I'm gonna uh, I'm build a studio in there and shit like that. Okay, so you're gonna be start recording in the house, yeah. Facts, okay. Do you have like a set producer that you fucking with right now? Um, or I fuck with Y Maz, I fuck with Jamaica, I be fucking with Elias Beats and stuff like that, yeah, yeah. And I've seen um, last night you seen Cardi at the yes, I love her, yes. This is the second time though we seen Cardi because the shake it, yeah, video you were there too, right? Yeah, shake it. I didn't yeah. go last night though. But yeah. I was shake no, shake it. it. Yeah. You was there. But, um, yeah, so have you and Cardi been speaking? Mm. <laughs> I ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, that was the overall, though. That was a girl show. That was the all Yeah, girls that show was like, fire. How do you feel about that? Like, just seeing all the girls coming nah, together? Nah, like, really, like, I like to watch performances because I like to see, like, so, like, when I perform, I could probably add something to my shit. Cause I, and I like to see, like, how girls deliver. Like, Glorilla, I love how she performs. Like, her mm-hmm. energy and everything. But one thing I like about Glorilla, though, a lot is that she, like, support. Like, you saw, she ha- she be having her friends, Kay Carbon mm-hmm. and the Glitter Girls Girl. Like, yeah. like, where they from, I feel like the girls are more, like, united. You feel me? Like, yeah. imagine if us drill artist girls was like that. That shit would be fire. Like, I know, <laughs> but it's just weird the vibe but- right now. <laughs> but, nah, I just thought it was cool to see, like, all the girls coming in. They had Lola there and, like, mm-hmm. other people. People. So you know, like, hopefully one day we get a female show. What do you mean, female? Female show, like a oh, a female New show, York drill female show. Nah, yeah, that'd be hopefully fire. One day. We're going to figure it out. But, yeah, I love Cardi B. <laughs> yes. Cardi ew. B's she be like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um, okay, so tell the people where to find you, where to uh, find your music. Uh-oh. So y'all can add me on Instagram at I am Legendary Rella. My TikTok at Rella the Legend and my music YouTube is Rella G's. And my vlogging YouTube, I'm gonna be doing more like videos, like showing my music life, me in the studio, shit like that. You know, because like okay. you were saying with the pranks and shit, I want to yeah. incorporate my music in there. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah. On my <laughs> wait, what I said? Oh, on my vlog YouTube is Rella Hundred Times, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. But thank you for having me. Of course. Yes, we needed this. It's been a long time. Yes.